Hi, and welcome to Digital Tech Reviews and Tips, guys. Today in this video, I'm just gonna be taking a quick look at and unboxing the brand new DJI Avada 2, which is DJI's third ever FPV drone, obviously second in the Avada series, and starts for $488 for just the drone here, but quickly goes up in price to $1,200 here for the Fly More Combo Kit, which is what I got. Uh, and by the way, I was not sent this, I paid dearly for that out of my own bank account and also decided while I'm sending them 1200, let's just send them an extra 200, DJI needs it and pick up the manual controller so that I can try some manual flight, I guess. I don't know, you guys have been telling me that you wanted to see me try out this drone and get my thoughts on it. So I decided to go full in $1,200, $200 and an extra $100 for the DJI Care Refresh. So $1,500 went all said and done for what I still personally, think is ostensibly just like a toy. Now, you can do some cool filming stuff with it and they have added some useful features for filming, like some easy modes to get you, you know, getting smoother shots with this motion controller and also a better camera up front with the new one and one thirds inch sensor, which I think is actually the same one from the Mini 4 Pro and Air 3, but could be wrong. Uh, and that enables you to get 4K 60 FPS video with HDR, in quotes because it's not actually real HDR, like HLG mode. It is just, you know, kind of like bracketed and has a slightly better dynamic range than your standard video, but is still an SDR video codec. Now, uh, I could talk more about like what the upgrades are to this, but I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you know generally what they are. So let's just get to unboxing it. Uh, this drone comes in simple box, Vada here on the back, the full kit on the front, boom, and then you know, what's included there on the side, but we're all gonna see that in a second, so we don't need to take a lot of time looking at it. Nice little strip comes off there, and we open it up to get our first look at the drone and the box itself. Now, the first thing I do wanna mention, this box is by far the biggest box, other than like the Mavic 3 that I've seen a DJI drone come in, and that is because you have those goggles in there. Those goggles are big uh, and take up a lot of room because the drone itself isn't too big. Uh, it's definitely gotten bigger with the Avada 2 versus the Avada 1, but it's still a lot smaller than some of DJI's other drones. Now, it all actually comes right in this bag here, so I was able to set the box aside. And when we open this up, wow, it is chock full of stuff. Let's start here right at the top, just get to it, I guess, with these accessories. Uh, you got a bunch of extra propellers here, four extra propellers, that's nice. Uh, to get you, you know, flying again if you do crash and just break propellers. You get a USB-C charging cable. Now this is nice because it is USB-C to USB-C, uh, which enables you to do fast PD or power delivery charging to the drone. Uh, so hopefully you can get, you know, charging and hopefully off the ground and back in the air faster than you could with the old school USB-A to regular USB-C type charger. Uh, now here we have a thing to remove the propellers. That's the new system they have, which is, I think is a standardized FPV kind of propeller holding system uh, that they use in other FPV drones. I'm not exactly 100% sure on that, but we also get some manuals here, of course, that's important. And we get stickers. Wow, that is a first, I think, for FPV drones here. Let's take a look at those stickers. Always like some good stickers for like, uh, I don't know, water bottles and your laptops or whatever you can stick them to. Nice looking mission. I don't know, they could do a little bit more to make them flashy, but yeah, nice simple stickers. Kind of some free publicity for DJI if you want. And then you get all this quick start stuff. But personally, I just go on YouTube most of the time. Or you can also just Google the PDF version of all of these manuals. like. Maybe it's good to like hang on to this one and keep that in case you have a question, but I assume most people are just gonna chuck those aside and you know trial and error it out in an open field for their first flight. Now, here we go. Uh, we have some more accessories here before we get to the main stuff. We have, I think these are the diopters for if you wear glasses. Uh, you can have some corrective lenses in the goggles themselves. We have here, I think this is the OTG cable to connect uh, directly to the controller potentially, or is this to the drone? Yeah, this might be, or to the goggles actually, probably. Yeah, see, uh, USB type A, 
USB Type-C there. And then finally here, gosh, there's so much stuff they chuck in here. Uh, this looks like a thing for the back of your, or no, this is a headset uh, like support uh, to go on your goggles, I think, and a little padding. So yeah, now that we've got all those accessories out of the way, let's actually get to the drone itself. Uh, there are some little packets in here. We don't need those. Chuck them aside. Let's get to the drone itself and the important things here. First with the goggles. These are exciting. These are the brand new goggles which use the OcuSync 4 image transmission, which is great, but uh, also make it so you cannot use previous generations with this new drone. That's just how DJI wants it. You know, always got to keep buying their newest and latest gear. I get it. They got to move forwards, but... Hopefully they will eventually release some software which makes this backwards compatible with the previous generations. But yeah, looking at these out of the box, uh, they feel pretty nice, a little heavy maybe, uh, but it is cool how they made this battery integrated here so you no longer have, you know, little like battery cable coming out and dangling into your pocket or whatever. And yeah, I think it feels like a fairly robust design. Uh, they have this kind of new way that you adjust the goggles and their pressure here. And then they have the antennas on the side. I don't know, not much to see here really from an unboxing point of view, but yeah, they look nice, feel nice. They have the cameras on the front so you can do that picture in picture uh, thing and you know see what's in front of you while also keeping an eye on what your drone is seeing. Next in here, we have the motion controller, which I still think is somewhat of a gimmick, but People are saying it's a lot better than the first generation, so definitely excited to try it out. I gotta say, it is a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. I was imagining this to be, you know, like the size of, I don't know, a large bratwurst, I guess, or a banana. And I have big hands, but this is like, I don't know, more the size of a small pickle or something. <laughs> yeah, I feels a little, little flimsy. Like, I wish they could make this feel a little more, I don't know, sturdy, robust, like substantial. It feels very clicky, very plasticky, but yeah, I, well, if it works and you know you can control it reliably, I guess that's all that matters. Next up in here, we do have the battery charging hub, which this is actually really cool. I didn't get the Air 3, I've never used that drone. So this is my first time using one of these hubs that does the ability to transfer power from one battery to the next, which is super cool. I cannot tell you the number of times I've been out in the field, you know, use down to 20% of one battery, down to 20% of the next battery, and then down to 20% of this battery. And you're like, man, I wish I had one more battery. But with this, it can actually transfer that extra charge all over to your whatever battery you want, you know, pool it all together so you can get maybe, I don't know, 60% and be able to get a little bit more flying time rather than have to be like, all right, I guess that's it. So it's kind of a useful feature and something that I wish they'd started putting in earlier, but hey, at least we're now getting it in the FPB and we'll probably be getting it in the future in all of their drones pretty much. So yeah, cool to see it here in the FPV. Finally, here we go. It's the moment you've all been waiting for guys. Sorry for the long delay. Move the bag a little bit out of the side here. We have the DJI Avada 2. Now, let's just, Open it up nicely and slide it out of the bag and boom, there it is. Looking sleek, a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be, honestly. Like I know the FPV original drone was about honestly the same size, maybe a little bigger. And the original Avada was, you know, a lot thinner, a lot smaller. I guess they decided you know, like all of DJI's drones pretty much, it has to get bigger to get better. But yeah, I have the Mini 4 Pro here. And as you can see, like placing them on top of each other, they're pretty much, I guess the Mini 4 Pro is a little bigger on the rotors, like they're a little farther out, but like the footprint is pretty much identical. Like it's hard to say that one is necessarily bigger than the other. This one is actually heavier, which is interesting. Uh, compared to the Mini 4 Pro, because obviously Mini 4 Pro has to stay under 250 grams. Uh, but yeah, they're kind of the same size. And I know a lot of people are kind of looking at both of these, and I will probably make a full video comparing them and helping you decide. But 
just want to put the TLDR in here. Like this is a much more versatile drone. If you're looking for photography, video, you know, travel, stuff like that, get this drone. This is, you know, getting to be more of a filmmaking tool for sure, but still, in my opinion, is largely, like I said, just a toy. And yeah, very, very fun to fly and a different experience for sure when you're using those goggles and the motion controller and all that stuff. But really, it's just a super fun toy that costs $1,500. You know, it looks very cool. I'll give DJI that. They're absolutely killing it with their marketing. So yeah, as you can see, there's the camera right up front. That's the new one and one third inch sensor camera. Like, yeah, it looks awesome. I got to give them that. They're doing a great job with the design. You know, have these uh, backwards slash downward sensors, which can help detect the ground and keep the drone more stable when you don't have GPS, which oftentimes is the case with FPV if you're flying inside or in a canyon or under tree cover or whatever. So yeah, really like they put pretty much every upgrade they could into this drone. Like, and I think they're doing a good job, but I still, I mean, we'll see once I try it out, if it's good and if it's worth it, but I still think this is mostly a toy. Well built and definitely you get your money's worth. Like that's, you know, it all feels like it's well made. So I can't really fault them there, but yeah, I don't know. That's pretty much it for this video guys. Uh, if you do have any questions, leave them down below. I hope I answered your questions of what's included in the box. You got your goggles. You got your Avada, you got your controller. You will have to pick up a manual controller separate if you do want to fly manual. Unfortunately, you can't just use like your Mini 4 Pro controller. That would be great, right? But no, you need to use one of these. If you're still watching, thank you for making it all the way through the video. Like I said, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Uh, and if you want to see more on the Avada too, hopefully I do have some more videos up on my channel. I kind of got to justify this $1,500 purchase in some way. So yeah, you're going to most likely be seeing a good amount of videos about this drone in the coming month or so. So yeah, check those out, subscribe. My social media and affiliate links are all down below. If you do want to help support me, I appreciate any little click that you take uh, to help point people to my channel or to, you know, affiliate your purchase with my affiliate accounts in some way. So yeah, anyways, that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out, fly safe, and have a nice day. Bye.